Are you planning to buy a brand new car in a dealership? Do you know how the process works? And more importantly, do you want to save more money and make the most of it? I will tell you how I save thousands of dollars by doing one simple thing. Well, stay tuned and watch till the end as I will teach you some tips and strategies that you can use in order for you to attain this goal. I'm Nurse Juan de la Cruz, your OFW nurse. This video is a part to series of buying a car in the United States. If you have not seen my previous video, please do, as I explained there how to choose a car, including the necessary specs I believe is vital for a car to have. For this video, I will share to you my personal experience, which I learned when I bought my car in a car dealership. So let's start. First thing you have to do is to research your target car or cars, which should be based on few factors that I mentioned in my previous video. Like, it should be compatible with your lifestyle, future plans, terrain, and weather. You should also check for the car safety and overall rating. Compare with the other car of choices, like for the price, the value, the features. Make a table so it will be easier to decide on. You can do this first step by using the internet first to widen your options. Visit different car dealerships online and websites like truecar.com, carvana.com to compare different prices. Also, under this element, you have to decide on your budget allowance or check your finances first if sustainable to purchase this car with that particular price. And take note, when calculating the price, please include the APR value and not just the displayed price on the car dealership website. APR stands for Annual Percentage Rate. It's the yearly interest rate for loaning a money from a bank. Here in the US, APR is primarily based on your credit score. If you are new here in the United States, you don't have a credit score yet. You build up the scores by paying your bills, loans on time, particularly if you're using a credit card. One way to check your credit score is by downloading Credit Karma on Google or Apple. If you have an existing credit score, make sure it is in a good state before buying one. APR plays a big percentage in your monthly car bills. Without a credit score, I was offered 7.9% APR for 72 months contract for a specific vehicle. If I buy through a global distributor of vehicles, which was tied up with my staffing agency. Then, under the local bank, which was also tied up with my staffing agency, they offered 8.3 to 8.5% APR for a 66-month contract for a certain car. They gave a different APR for a different car. They only gave me this option after I chose the car and given them the details, including the prices. Also, I decided to place a down payment of $1,000 to decrease the loan from the bank, thus decreasing the APR value. Little did I know that some of the other staffing agencies can give you an APR even before you buy a car or arrive here in the United States, as some of them have ties with a certain bank. 515 to 5.9% for a 66 months contract for a budget less than $27,000. Thank you, Nikki from Lefora for this input. So make sure to ask your staffing agencies about this matter before you leave for the United States. Honestly, I wanted to get a bigger car, but for financial reasons, the ads was not on our side. Watch my initial budget and my salary videos to understand my point and compare it to your current status or future status. Once you gathered all the data needed for the elements under the research category and have decided on which cars to choose from, then, the next step is to go to different car dealerships. My best advice for you, go to different number of car dealerships first to widen your options. Don't decide on the first offer they will give you, especially if you have a particular car you want. You will be amazed with the difference in the car offers you will end up with if you play your cards right. Once you are at the dealership, the first thing you have to do is to assess or inspect your actual car of choice or choices. For me, Seeing my car options based on how it looked from the internet versus the actual ones, it ended up crossing some of them out from my list. As I was imagining it to be bigger or wider, pictures can be very deceiving. Please do a test ride on the cars, as 10 minutes of doing this will tell you more about the car than doing one hour of research online. This will give you an idea of the engine and overall feel of the car when you're driving. Important thing to note when doing this, Please, just drive safely and don't crash the car. Or if ever you do, don't crash it on the other brand new cars on display. 
After checking out the cars, the salesperson will bring you to the dealership office and talk about the prices. Try to haggle for the lowest base price if possible. This is a time for you to use your negotiation skills and bargaining skills. Please do this in a kind, respectful, and friendly manner. This can have a big impact on this particular stage. Tips. Compute the prices by your own self. Include the total base price offer, the down payment, and the breakdown of other causes, like the certification of the car, the taxes, also the admin and document processing fee. Tell them if they can waive some of this off or lower the price of the car of equal value to the document processing fee. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but give it a shot first. And more importantly, tell them you will decide later as you are still browsing for other options. This often leads to additional discounts being offered if not yet maxed out. For me, from $21,000 base price, I bargained it down to $16,000. That's $5,000 difference. And honestly, I think I could have gotten it lower if I was not too excited. Just something for you guys to ponder on when it's your turn to buy one. FYI, the salesperson will try everything to seal the deal on that day. Some will tell you this promotion deal will only stand at the end of this day. Or that this is the only remaining car left. Or if you want to reserve this car, you should put in a small deposit to secure the car under your name. Please, don't sign anything if you are not sure yet. Then, if you're decided, we will proceed on the next stage, which is the buying process. After signing some of the documents needed for the initial process of securing the car, the car dealership will coordinate with your bank of choice. This will take few hours to few days, as long as you have all the documents ready. In my case, the bank had to wait for my social security number to arrive before proceeding. So, from the time I signed the initial paperwork at a car dealership, I had to wait for one week before I get the car. For the requirements needed for the bank and the car dealerships are the following. Number one, social security number. Number two, employment contract. Number three, proof of address. Number four, driver's license. Not necessarily a US driver's license. Number five, car insurance. And yes, they require you to have a car insurance in order for them to complete the filing of the documents. You will need your details of the car, including the VIN number, home address, as well as the details of your driver's license. You can visit the car insurance websites like Geico, Root, Progressive, State Farm, and a lot more. Then just get a quote for each of the vehicle by keying all those data. If you're having a hard time understanding or applying for the car insurance, I will be making a video soon of it, as it is a stressful thing to decide on on something you have not encountered before. Also, some of the prices of the car insurance differs depending on the models and specs, particularly if they have a known mechanical issues, meaning that particular vehicle might have a higher insurance monthly cost. If you are an expat, foreigner, immigrant, and don't have a US driver's license yet, the car insurance will cost you three to four times higher as it did on mine. For me, I had to pay $370 for one and a half month. Then, after I had taken my DMV test and license, I applied to a different car insurance, which dropped down to $130, including the apartment renter's fee. I will explain more in my next video, including the DMV written and driving test, with the do's and don'ts to help you prepare ahead. So please subscribe. After all the paperwork from the bank was ready, settled, and signed, we went back to the car dealership to finally get the car. In their office, they offered me if I wanted to have an extended car warranty, as that car had the standard 36,000 miles or 3 years, whichever comes first, meaning after the 36,000 miles by driving or after 3 years from this date, the car will not be covered under the warranty anymore. At that time, I have no extra money, so I declined, and told them I will decide later on. Also, some dealership will offer you different add-ons that would sound very affordable. But usually, this price is offered as a monthly basis. So please compute it annually to see if it's really worth the price. After that, they gave me the paperwork and the keys to my car. I drove home at the speed of the turtle, worried that I will crash the car on the first day. FYI, it was my first time to drive in the US soil and on an automatic car. 
I did not even know that automatic cars will run even without stepping on the gas. It is an unforgettable moment and very memorable experience for me. Adding that I told the salesperson that something was wrong with my car. Lol. Additional tips. I chose the car dealership because the base price was cheaper as compared to my first option. Even though the APR was lower. Also, they had a longer contract period. So add those two up and the total price will be more expensive. If you could buy a car towards the end of the year, that would really be wise. As car dealership will try to clear the inventory for the current year making way for the next year's models. Clearing their inventory means bigger discounts. Having the knowledge, friendliness, patience, and ability to walk away can get you a better deal. I will be uploading some new videos soon with regards to the car insurance, driving test, and health insurance. So please, click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and share to your friends and co-workers and relatives, especially if you find this video helpful. This is Nurse Juan de la Cruz, your OFW nurse, saying thank you and God bless.